Kaisha here. Um, so this is, I'm just mixing things up because I like to do stuff like that. So this it was supposed to be a Facebook Live in my community, like Group Presents the Goddess Within. And I had recently just started a new channel called The Butterfly Effect where I read tarot, where I show my gifts of uh, tarot and share my gifts of tarot with others. So I wanted to, instead of doing a live, I wanted to give a tarot reading for the community members of The Goddess Within. So today I'm asking Spirit for any message that they have for someone or someones within The Goddess Within community. So with that being said, I am going to jump right in. Oh, first off, I need to thank my new subscribers, my old subscribers. And for those of you that are checking me out, if I resonate with you, I encourage you to like, subscribe, and share this channel. So, okay, goddesses, let us see what messages Spirit has for you today. So the question is, Spirit, what message do you have for the goddess within community today what message do you have for someone and what is the guidance you would like to relay to them thank you spirit for your messages thank you for your messages spirit what message do you have for someone in the goddess within community or someone in the goddess within community so i like when the cards jump out because it's like they're excited and this needs to be said, right? So I like that. But I'm always open to pulling the cards as well. So we'll, I just go with the flow. We'll see what happens. Spirit, thank you for your messages. It looks like one wants to like come out. Yeah. Okay. And it did. What messages do you have for someone or someones within the goddess within community spirit what would you like them to know and what is your guidance for them at this point in time on their journey in their life thank you for your clarity spirit thank you for your clear and concise messages oh looks like one wants to come out oh, okay Okay. Thank you for your messages, Spirit. What guidance would you like to share with this someone or someones within the Goddess Within community? What guidance would you have or would you like to share with someone or someones within the Goddess community? Thank you for your messages, Spirit. Hmm. Okay, so we're going to, the first card pulled was Seven Chakra Archangel Uriel. The second card was All Tied Up in Reverse. And the third card was Attachment. So I'm going to be pulling some clarifier cards for these. Spirit, thank you for your clarification. Please clarify Seven Chakra Archangel Uriel. Thank you for your clear and concise messages, Spirit. Thank you for your messages. Please clarify, Seven Chakra Archangel Uriel. Please clarify, Seven Chakra Archangel Uriel. Please clarify, Seven Chakra Archangel Uriel. Thank you for your messages, Spirit. Thank you for your clear and concise messages, Spirit. Okay, now I would like to clarify all tied up in reverse. Thank you for your messages, Spirit. Please clarify all tied up in reverse. Please clarify all tied up in reverse. So I just want to put it out there. That energy is fluid, and this is a timeless reading, so it could be happening now, it could have happened in the past, or it could be about to happen. The probabilities are always, they are potential, depending on the actions that you take. Nothing is written in stone. Follow your guidance. 
follow your inner guidance, listen to your intuition. You have the answers for yourself within you. Spirit, please clarify all tied up in reverse. Thank you for your messages. You know, and energy is fluid, so if this not resonate with you, or it could be the other person involved, or other persons involved, you just place the energy where it applies. Thank you for your messages, Spirit. Please clarify all tied up in reverse. Hmm. Spirit, please clarify attachment. Please clarify attachment. Thank you for your messages, Spirit. Please clarify attachment. Spirit, please clarify attachment. Thank you for your messages. Okay, so the clarifying cards drawn for Seven Chakra Archangel Uriel is Cornucopia. And the second clarifying card was Door to Personal Healing and Happiness in Reverse. The clarifying card pulled for All Tied Up in Reverse is Second Chakra Archangel Uriel. And door to spirit in reverse. And the clarifying card drawn for attachment was the temple path. And deceit mm, in reverse. So I just want to put that out there. Not all reversals are bad. So don't take them as something bad. Just allow the energy to... Um, Go where it goes, and you take what resonates with you, and you leave the rest. Okay, so for Seven Chakra Archangel Uriel, it talks about uh, someone in the community or someones in this community was feeling very um, stuck. So you, in the past, you were being led to follow your intuition to follow your inner guidance on what it is you're supposed to be doing because you felt like you were stuck and your plans weren't moving forward. Uh, your plans for creating abundance for yourself, your plans could have been for um, creating streams of income or maybe you were supposed to get a certain job and everything that happened with COVID and pandemic that kind of shut things down for you. So you were feeling like your, your plans got foiled. You're feeling like you're stuck in a certain situation that you did not want to be in. You felt like your abundance was being blocked in some way, like you just couldn't really figure out how to go about doing something to create money for yourself. You, you felt stuck in terms of figuring out how to transform your situation. This also talks about um, healing, so if some of you uh, have some health issues, you felt like maybe, you know, with everything that's going on, you don't know what move to make in terms of healing yourself or getting better. I'm hearing hospital. Some of you may have felt like um, you did not want to go to the hospital. No, you weren't feeling well, but you didn't want to go to the hospital. So you were being guided to listen to your intuition on what it was to do to heal yourself. Natural remedies. And you have guidance around you. In the past, present, and future, you always have guidance around you. And you started to pay attention to those things. You started to realize that there is more to life than what you see and that there is a part of you that can tap into a higher realm. 
you know there is a part of you that can guide you on what it is you're supposed to be doing and you're starting to trust that now you're starting to listen to yourself so that you can create abundance for yourself so that you can create money so that you can create better relationships so that you can create a better health for yourself because in the past you were feeling stuck you were feeling blocked okay so some of you in this community or someone in this community uh, is feeling very discontented right you feel you're you're very unhappy um, not even unhappy just dissatisfied you're very dissatisfied and because of that you are lowering your vibration which is causing you to feel even more unhappy uh, you are being guided to let go of these thoughts in your head because they're keeping you stuck they are blocking your creativity if you see here you have second chakra archangel ariel and this chakra has to do with um sexuality intimacy creativity you know so if you want to if you want to be able to tap into your own innate creativity you have to get out of your head because whatever is is going on in your life you are so focused on some drama or something that's going on in your life that it's causing you to feel unproductive very dissatisfied unfulfilled just unhappy you know but it's in your head so you're you're right now you are focusing on yourself you are learning how to focus on yourself and get out of your head so that you can tap into your creativity and tap into who you really are. You are focusing on discovering who you really are so that you can create from that space. You're transforming. So you're changing right now. You're changing for the better and you're changing because you don't like the way how things are in your life right now. And, and you're ready for change. You are preparing for the change that you want. So whatever drama, whatever dramas are going on in your life, whatever you're focusing on in your life that is not, it's not adding value, it's not helping raise your vibration. You are untying yourself from that. So you are disconnecting from all of that stuff so that you can hear yourself and you can figure out what it is you really want for yourself, where you want to go, what you want to do. You're also being encouraged to focus on aligning your chakras, working on your second chakra. Uh, I offer some programs in my description box that help you to do inner work to help you to do things like this. Align your chakras, open and heal and balance your chakras so that other areas of your life can flow. Inner healing to help you to be able to clear your pipes, I guess, so to say, um, to help you to clear your closet so that you can add new things, so that you can live the life you are meant to be living as a sovereign being. So please, I encourage you to take, take a look at the description, sorry, the programs in my description box created by Sophia Charles. They are absolutely amazing, life-changing, transformational. I've done them and I continue to do them myself. That is why I recommend them to you. So if you are going through this right now, please take a look at the programs in my description box. So guidance for the future for someone or someone's in the goddess within community. Spirit wants you to be real with yourself. You see you have deceit in reverse. So stop lying to yourself and be real with what's going on in your life that you are there is an attachment or it, it's in your head though you believe that the, you are stuck in a situation or stuck with someone you could also be um, too focused on the past 
or too focused on the present so I mean on the future so you're not being present you know um, and even though you are pretending to be happy spirit wants you to stop be real and authentic with yourself if you're not happy in a situation you can break free as you can see she has um, a chain on her wrist and her other hand is free holding a mask right so even though you're pretending to be happy, you're not making any forward movement, you're not making any progress because you need to drop these masquerades. You need to drop this, um, these false pretense of pretending to be content with the situation or even pretending to be content in a relationship. Uh, Spirit wants you to let go of what is no longer serving you and follow your true path. If you see here, you have the temple path. To follow your true path, you are being guided. These lanterns represent spirit, angels, guides, guiding you to your true path, to um, your true, uh, it's usually a spiritual path, what you're supposed to be doing, guiding you towards what is for your highest good and the highest good of everyone involved. But you need to be real with yourself. You need to be honest with yourself because you're not doing that right now. And you are being guided to do that in the very near future. To drop the mass and be who you really are. Figure out who that is and get on with your mission. You have something important here to do. Yeah, you have a, a very important spiritual mission to do. And in order to get on with that, you have to let go of these things. Now, this could be addictions. This could be um, attachments to unhealthy habits, unhealthy patterns, even unhealthy ways of thinking. You know, a, a lot of times we are conditioned to believe certain things that did not come from us. They came from a belief system long gone, dead and gone, past that does not serve who you, who and what you are now and what it is that you desire for your life and what your destiny entails. So spirit is guiding you to let that shit go and be, <coughs> excuse me, be 100, be 100 with yourself. You know, the second chakra also talks about um, intimacy, right? Intimacy with yourself. So you are being um, guided right now in the present to focus on loving yourself so that you can get out of your head thinking that you are stuck or you can't make any forward movement or you got to stay in a relationship that's not serving you anymore. That should have been you done, should have been done with that. You know, or people, communities that you need to let go of because they're not serving you anymore. They're not going to help you get to where you need to go. Yes, you are being encouraged to, encouraged to work on your second chakra, to love yourself and work on creating a relationship, a really close relationship with yourself so that you can be real with yourself and take off the mask and stop pretending that you're happy when you're really not. Stop pretending that you want to do something or but you really don't. Stop doing things that you don't want to do. It's time for you to do things that actually genuinely make you happy, that are a natural part of who you are, and that is what spirit is guiding you to do. Stop lying to yourself. Well, okay, that was that was a pretty strong message for someone. So I hope that this has uh, blessed you in some way, whoever this message is for. Stop lying to yourself. Be honest with yourself. We've all been there. Don't feel bad. We've all been there, done that, wore masks. Some of us have many masks. And it's when you strip away the layers that you really get to see and know what and who you really are and what you're truly capable of. Now, if spirit is leading you to do this, it's because the universe has some really, really great things for you great things in store for you and in order for you to do that you have to operate at your uniqueness you have to operate in your own innate brilliance so that is what spirit is encouraging you to do so community i hope this has blessed you if this resonates with you great if it does not that's okay too there are other messages for you this is for who it's for so my beautiful goddesses you have yourself a fantastic morning noon or night and I will see you again. Take care. Bye.